Hello and welcome back to another daily Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Optifine for Fabric Client or well an Optifine equivalent for Fabric Client as Optifine is not updated to 1.21.5 as of yet. So what you want to do you want to go to your browser right here and go to the search tab and just type in mod rinth. there we go click on the top result once you're here go to discover content mod packs and here you just want to type in optifabric and here we have optifabric and we want to click on it and once you're on this screen all you want to do is just click on download and select your game version and download as you can see right here we have optifabric now we want to type in mr pack 2 zip click on the top result download.fo scroll down choose file downloads upload and download and there we go we now have optifabric so now i can close our browser because we no longer need it and we want to go into here go into our downloads folder and we just want to right click on this winrar and extract files or just use the windows one if you don't have WinRAR, I highly recommend using WinRAR as it is faster, but you know, everyone has their own thing. Now, what you want to do is just go into here, go into mods, control A, control C, and all you want to do is very simple. You want to just close this folder now, close that file explorer, go to mods, add on mods, and here's going to open up a mods folder. And here just upload all of your mods and let's just reload and here you just need to wait there we go as you can see all of our mods have now been uploaded you need to wait for these to show up otherwise the mods will not actually show up in the game so now once you've done this you can just click play and launch the game as you can see, it will now give you this screen, and you now just need to wait for the game to actually launch. So as you can see, we are now in Minecraft, and here what we can do is we can click on single player, and we're just going to open up my world that I have right here. And we are going to be able to, well, there we go, we're actually in the game. And if I do F3, you'll see Sodium Renderer. We also have Iris, which means we can get shaders, and we just have a highly optimized Minecraft experience and having about 200 FPS while having my current Minecraft settings is it's pretty good. It's pretty good because if I actually open up my options and go into video settings, I'm currently on nine chunks. You know, it's, it's a fairly decent amount, not to mention I'm recording at like 250,000 bit rate. So, you know, it is quite impressive. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.